We've been discussing hypothyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid. On the other end of the spectrum is hyperthyroidism, which is an overactive thyroid gland. There are ways of slowing down the thyroid, though, in the case of hyperthyroidism. One of the most effective ways is with an herb called bugleweed. Other herbs I like for this condition include melissa, which is also known as lemon balm, and prunella, which is also known as self-heal. There's also foods that can be used in order to slow down the thyroid. These include flaxseed, cabbage, raw broccoli. These are called goitrogens. They interfere with the thyroid hormones. If the thyroid condition is caused from an autoimmune disorder, then the other thing it needs to be focused on is to work on the adrenal glands. Autoimmune disorders occur in part from adrenal dysfunction leading to the overproduction of what's called low affinity antibodies or nonspecific antibodies that end up tagging the tissues for destruction. So it's very important to focus on the adrenal glands as well. This means adaptogenic herbs such as jogalong, astragalus, Siberian ginseng, chassandra berry. You also want to build up the adrenals with nutrition. The most important nutrients there is for the adrenal glands are vitamin C and pantothenic acid, which is also known as vitamin B5. It's also very important to stay away from stimulants. No caffeine, no nicotine. You also want to try to avoid steroidal medications because steroids can atrophy the adrenal glands and watch your stress levels. Stress will aggravate autoimmune conditions by atrophying the adrenals. So you want to make sure if you're in a stressful situation, find a way to de-stress.